lot of stuff <laughs> that I bring, you know. And since I've been recording, it's like even more stuff to keep up with and charge and all of that stuff. So I'm trying to get situated. Um, but yeah, guys, I know. I don't know if you've been, you guys, been paying attention, like for real, for real. But like, I know, like some of my days are off. Um, so you know. But again, I wasn't gonna make this YouTube thing stressful for myself, for me. And um, so just bear with me you know what I mean just bear with me but um here we are back at it all right so hold on I don't know if these got bent in my bag or what whatever as long as it's protecting my eyes because when I'm working out I can really like use a lot of my facial muscles facial muscles and things like that and also when I'm squinting because of like the sun and stuff it can really cause like your muscles in your face and your expressions those muscles can just keep just if you keep using them then you start to get like almost like hypertrophy well I don't even know if I want to call it that but I, I, I guess that would be the right term um and so you would get like these 11 lines in between here you know what I mean and just like other expressions like when you raise your um eyebrows and stuff so I know that I was starting to get like lines you know because I, I do squint I not squint but like kind of like strain my face or whatever so that's another thing so I'm gonna just like try to wear my sunglasses and stuff like that and um, keep the sun out of my eyes like you don't even really notice it and you might be squinting a little bit you know what I mean so all right I have some apples here I don't know if I feel like I, I just had a big bowl of like salmon and some rice and so I feel like I just want that to digest but I mean these are like fast fast carbs or whatever and so I'll bring maybe I brought two maybe I could eat one like right before I start working out and one if I feel like you know kind of lightheaded or something like that but um all right guys so that's that but yeah we'll just keep it moving yeah we're back to leg day again um i'm just keep keep hitting it you know just gotta keep hitting it because you know it's weird like i just i've been like going shopping lately and like trying to like find different like shorts and stuff like i kind of just shop every once in a while and just like see Right, and then, like, I see what kind of, like, complements my, my body because, you know, you see a lot of girls wearing certain types of shorts and stuff like that for the glutes that complement the glutes. Like, I mean, like, you know, like, the scrunch ones that kind of, like, go up in your butt or whatever, like, is, like... Anyways, so I have... I don't really have that many of those. Like, and honestly, when I get that type of fabric, I think because my hips are small or, like, skinnier... It's weird like I feel like I need to size down so I'm gonna try a few so if you guys see me like in some new like new type stuff coming up I'm I ordered some stuff I'm gonna see how it works out I don't know if I'm gonna do a haul on it cuz like I don't even know if I'm gonna keep it so it's like I don't even like doing hauls on stuff I'm not gonna keep but maybe if I keep the stuff um, like my glutes like for sure like I definitely feel them I feel that they're firmer and I feel that they're more like pronounced um, even just like walking almost feels like they're stronger when I take my strides like I definitely feel that so I mean I know that they're getting worked and that muscle development is occurring um, whether it reflects I stay away from leggings but I don't really like how they feel like they slide down on my hips they just don't do well. Like, I kind of wish I could because they look so good on some people, but I just stick to shorts, you know? Like, and they're cute, right? Like, I just feel like shorts are cute, but I stick to shorts mainly. And I think it's main, but it's mainly because of how they fit me. I just don't, maybe I need to find some leggings that actually fit good or whatever. Maybe I think I'm wearing, like, I wear a size medium, and I've always worn a size medium. So that's what I get, right? Really hope that when I order stuff, it's like true to size because if it's not, then I'm just like, I don't really want to mess around and keep trying a smaller size and do it. Mm -mm. And then the bunching, that's another thing I know it's like with leggings more specifically, there's just like a lot of extra fabric right around like the creases and just, it's weird. So 
I just stopped messing around with that. Right now, it's mainly just like shorts. And when it comes to bras, like I like halter tops. Like this is a halter top. Like if I could have like a million of these, then I would just, that's all I would wear. That's all I would wear. Um, so I'm actually, but can't find a good halter top these days at all like i'd be looking too i'd be like looking every once in a while like pink halter top <laughs> like and i can't find i just i sweat a lot and when i'm on pre-workout when i'm on pre-workout i sweat a lot too so it's just honestly less is is kind of where it's at i'm gonna stick to kind of like what i've been doing Keep hitting the squats. Keep hitting hip thrusts. Lunges, probably just switch out like the type of weight. I mean, lunges, you know, I definitely feel them working. Like, you know what I mean? And I really do like the fact that when I'm, when I'm working out, like what I'm doing actually feels like it's hitting. And that's why I, I, I've been getting excited because I actually feel a pump in my glutes when I'm training them these days. Like, I never was. So I'm kind of like, what am I doing it right? Am I, you know? And I, yeah. So it's like confirmation in, in, in and of itself. I, mean, I didn't really realize how many different like splits were out there and what people are doing. Like, three days a week, four days a week, five days a week, six days a week, seven days a week, right? There's no way I could actually do seven. But I think people do do that, you know? And I'm just like, how? Um, I feel like I could literally go down to three. Because here's the thing. Getting over and going to the gym. Don't get me wrong. Gym is fun. But, like, I want to spend every, you know, every other day at the gym or whatever. Like, maybe not necessarily. Um... If I can just be just as effective if I can kind of get everything done in like at least like three days. Alright, so I am here now. Alright y'all, I will see you in a little bit. I'm going to go inside. guys all right if you see like I'm in this little cage thing I've actually never tried to squat in these it feels like like it feels so like restrictive for whatever reason I mean because like I really feel like I'm in a cage but now would be a good time for me to like feel safer adding on more weight so instead of just keep sticking with the 135 I think I'm just add go ahead and add the 10 each side get in that see how I feel with that because I'm gonna I gotta keep pushing up pushing further up you know what I mean so I feel like if I can't get it I'll just like drop it right here you know what I'm saying but um let's just see how that goes
Okay, my shoulder hurts because of that. And I feel like even just going up in weight, it feels like it's like my shoulder. Anyways, I feel like I just need to like stretch it out more, something like that. If they have an easy uh, safety bar, whatever it's called, it might be better, but my shoulder is my shoulder. So I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> so that's just my feedback so far. I got my reps in. Um, I'm gonna try it again. That's the only, that's like the main thing that I was like, okay, I'm ready to be done. So, all right. All right, so I went and found the, the little, this one. So, I don't really know. I try to put it down my back a little bit more. And I feel like it hurt more, but I just went with it. Um, I cut that set a little bit short. So I'm like, I don't want any problems with the shoulder stuff right now. It's not that it, I have any problems with my shoulders. It's just like, seemed like maybe, maybe my range of motion is not able to get the weight and support the weight back there because my shoulders I don't know but I'm gonna feel this feel this out first see how heavy it is and then add some weight and do like one or two more sets So I don't know how much this bar weighs, but it's it's probably like heavier. Well, I think I feel like it's heavier. So when I put I put 240, I put 45 on each side, but that was too heavy for my legs, honestly speaking. So I put 35 on each side. I'm gonna just try to do that, see how many I can do for that, and then um, keep moving. But this was a good learning experience because for whatever reason today. My shoulder, it's just, it just feels weird. It just feels weird, so, yeah. Now I gotta figure out how to get this bar back to where I found it. It was it was really unstable when I was getting it down, so I might just leave it somewhere. Or maybe I should ask for some help. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'll do.
Oh, God. 